Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Slagle, and I'm a senior majoring in neuroscience in the College of Biological Sciences and graduating with honors in May. Uh, today, I'd like to tell you a little bit about why I chose the University of Minnesota and why, by doing so, the opportunity to do research has given me great opportunities later on. First of all, when I applied to a number of universities, I was looking at biological fields. I knew I wanted to enter one and that I wanted to be more specific in what I was studying. I noticed that the University of Minnesota offered the major of neuroscience, which many other schools did not at that time. So that, along with the fact that the university is very dedicated to research and actually allows undergraduates to participate in research, led me to choose this university. So in general, being part of the neuroscience program has been very, a very worthwhile experience for a number of reasons. Not only am I very interested in the topic, but because so few people major in this, I've really gotten to know the other students that are in this major. And additionally, also because it's a small number of people majoring in this, it's very much correlated with the graduate program of neuroscience. So by taking neuroscience as a major, I have been taking graduate level courses with other graduate students. I have gotten to know them, I have worked with them. I have gotten to know the faculty that teach both the undergraduate courses and the graduate courses. So in a way, I've really gotten in on what it's like to be in graduate school. But even if you don't choose neuroscience, there's many opportunities to do research at the university, and all of them have worthwhile experiences. The best and, and most um, important aspect of research is probably the fact that coming to here, you're going to be involved in some of the most cutting edge, advanced research out there. In my lab specifically, I have access to some of the most outstanding machinery and equipment um, in the nation. And it's just a really worthwhile experience to be involved in something that's so top level, even as an undergraduate. I've also been able to connect with faculty on a more personal level than if you were just to take classes. For instance, my advisor is Dr. George Apolis. He's the chair of the Brain Science Center and the director for the Center of Cognitive Studies here at the University of Minnesota, part of the Institute of Medicine, and was recently named um, Regents Professor at the University, one of the top uh, level positions given to professors. So here I am in this lab as an undergrad, and I'm working with one of the top level scientists. And it's just really outstanding to me that he takes the time to allow me to understand and gain knowledge in my educational journey, amidst the fact that he's one of the most busiest men I probably know. Um, and most importantly, research has given me the ability to explore what interests me, and to take what I've learned in classes and apply them in real life scenarios. So I know, have a better understanding of what I'd like to do later on in life. And I've also gained a lot of confidence in terms of that I can carry out research and that I, uh, that I have the abilities to do so. Uh, for instance, last summer I applied to be a research intern at the National Institutes of Health. And I got this position and was working with a physician and clinical research over the summer because I had experience previously in research and also because I had a great recommendation from my, my advisor, Dr. Bortopoulos. So I'd just like to tell you a little tidbit about what I do in my research. I work with Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, fMRI. If you're familiar with MRI at all, it's kind of like a static picture of the body that you might get if you go to the hospital and they need to look into um, some portion of your body. We use Functional Magnetic Imaging to look at dynamic activity of specifically the brain when somebody's doing a, a task, whether it's moving an arm or thinking cognitively about some sort of process. And what we see is that given a certain task, certain areas of the brain light up because there's more blood flow there. So what we're determining is what areas of the brain are responsible for certain tasks. And in the end, we're able to collaborate that information together and kind of figure out exactly what neural networks are going on that allow us to do certain specific tasks, whether it's movement or whether it's thinking. So it's very exciting research to get to know exactly what's kind of going on in the brain and trying to figure out what it is that this complex organ is doing on a daily routine to allow us to be able to do everything that we can do. Um, I would encourage any of you to ask me more questions. I'll be sticking around if you have questions about my research or anything about um, being involved in the College of Biological Sciences or honors. I thank you for your time and have a good afternoon.